Hello and welcome to a special holiday episode of Laptop Retrospective. And today we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing and initial impressions of what's in this box. So about a week or two ago, BenQ reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to test a speaker. Now, two things went through my mind. The first is, I wonder if they've been watching all of my ThinkPad videos lately and understand that the speakers in those are, you know, not what they could be. I'd imagine that BenQ is a company that probably uses a lot of ThinkPads. I have no evidence to actually support this, but you know, corporate, ThinkPad, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and open this up. So with any good unboxing, we need a good unboxing knife. I will be leaving some links in the description down below on where you could buy this. And BenQ has been very generous and has provided me with some discount codes. So if you are interested in something like this, then please make sure that you are using those to save yourself a little bit of money. All right, so that's immediately a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be, which is not a bad thing. So they do talk about electrostatic technology, which is a different kind of speaker that's supposed to get uh, a more crisp and cleaner sound. We shall see. Uh, it does sport up to 18 hours of continuous play, 16-bit digital audio via micro USB, so you can actually, from what I understand, plug this into a computer and use it to augment, as well as NFC technology with your phone and Bluetooth. So. That's one of the reasons why I was interested in this is because if it was another Bluetooth speaker, well, you know, that's okay. Um, but if I can hook this up to a ThinkPad and actually get decent desktop audio, then color me intrigued. So the Travolo S, what's in the box? Uh, looks like a power uh, adapter. We'll take a look at that. Well, it's part of the power adapter, I should say. Uh, here's our other half, so I'd imagine these prongs can change out depending on what region you're in. So let's slip that out of the plastic. So it's a micro USB charger. That's for your wall. That's literally all that is. Uh, we've got a microfiber carrying pouch, which I'm sure will come in handy. And that's all that's in that box. We have our user's guide, and we have the speaker. And I'll tell you right now, this is not light. <laughs> that is solidly constructed. Ooh, those gold accents remind me of what uh, the HP uh, did with some of their Spectre laptops, and that looks quite smart. And then on the top, we've got all of our controls and our speakers. Uh, wing out like that. The hinge looks like it's very well designed because that's the first thing I'm going to be worried about. Um, but it's uh, a metal hinge and these are nice big uh, connecting pieces. You can probably see that they're going to run the cable for the speakers down there. Now one of the things that they do claim is that the sound quality going forward is the same actually going backward, which is an interesting feature because generally speaking the best place to be um, for music is directly in front of it. And in this case, they, they claim that there is some backward uh, firing uh, options as well. And generally, you want some space between you and the wall. So yeah, that is looking pretty sharp. It's nice and heavy. All metal construction. I can't really find any plastic except for the buttons on top and this front faceplate I think might be plastic. I don't know but it's certainly well built. And yeah, let's go ahead and charge this up and see what it sounds like. All right, so I've gone ahead and given this a charge and I've also got it plugged in through the micro USB cable running over actually to my ThinkPad X220, which is running Linux. Now, a couple reasons for that. First off is the X220 speakers are a dumpster fire and I think everybody kind of knows that, but it's a ThinkPad. The other thing is that I was really curious to know if it would work natively with Linux because I know it's going to work with Windows. I know it's going to work with Mac OS. I want to see if it's going to work with everything. And it turns out it does. It automatically detected it as the Travolo S speaker and it was an analog output. So let's go ahead and just do a speaker test of front left and front right. 
Front, left. Front, right. All right, not too shabby. That sounds pretty crisp, pretty clean. Now, in the manual, it does say that you're supposed to technically have the speaker at the same height as you are. So for some of the tests, not all of them, I will actually lower the camera so the stereo speakers in the camera can actually pick up the stereo audio coming out of the speakers at the level that the manufacturer suggests that it's at. But so far, that's pretty clean. All right, so for the samples today, the only thing that I'm, I can give you is, of course, copyright-free music because, well, YouTube. That being said, I have listened to a variety of different tracks that are copywritten and therefore bad, and they also sound excellent as well. So that actually sounds pretty darn good, playing some lossless audio there. I will be doing a few uh, other tests. One, of course, is going to be uh, how easily we can synchronize something like this to a phone with NFC. So let's go ahead and set this up. So we'll press and hold Bluetooth. And uh, pair this Bluetooth device. Yes. And it looks like we are connected. So let's go ahead and see how Bluetooth sounds here.
right, ladies and gentlemen. So my initial impressions of this are actually quite positive. It's very well built. It's really easy to use. You've got pretty much all the inputs that you would want for a portable speaker. You've got micro USB that you can send that signal directly to your favorite computer. You have line in, so that's everything with a three and a half millimeter jack. Sorry, Apple. And uh, the uh, Bluetooth NFC technology seems to work really, really well. I did notice initially that USB uh, sound does seem to give me the biggest uh, boost for my buck. I will uh, do some further testing on that. Maybe I have a setting uh, switched on or off, but you can definitely tell uh, that that audio was uh, crisper and cleaner, but that's probably due to just the nicer file size and it's not going over uh, a Bluetooth connection. Uh, the audio files, of course, I'm sure will inform me in the comments down below uh, how much of that is correct and how much of that is incorrect, of course. Uh, I don't often test speakers, but if I was looking for a mobile solution that I could drop down and plug into pretty much anything that I own, uh, this would definitely be at the top of my list. It's also pretty nice that I can control it uh, even with my tick watch using Wear OS, so it just it just works. And I think that's one of the things that would make this uh, a nice portable solution. You can fold it up. It's not light, I will tell you that. So if you are thinking that this is for the, uh, the backpack of the uh, high speed, low drag, then just be aware that this is weighty. It's, it's a solid speaker. There's a lot of stuff in here and it sounds good because of it. But the trade-off, of course, is that it is going to have some mass to it. But if the mass doesn't scare you, and if you're carrying a ThinkPad, it probably doesn't. Uh, this would be a pretty good uh, solution for any laptop or phone or environment where you want to fill it with sound. And I will be doing a follow-up video once I've had the opportunity to use this a lot more than just the initial test that I've done here. If you have any questions or you want to see something in particularly tested with this particular unit, please let me know in the comments down below or on Twitter, and I will happily investigate any questions that you may have for my follow-up videos on this particular piece to come. If you enjoy this sort of content and want to see more, please make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button down there. It does certainly help if you spread the word as well. If you have people that are curious about Bluetooth speakers, laptops, or pretty much any other technology, and you kind of want the long-term impressions that I give, then please share the video, like it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. And like I said, don't forget, if you have questions about this particular unit, please make sure that you are posting them in the comment section down below. And I shall see you next time.